Hi everyone, it's Andrea and today we are here with volume 10 of the Marilyn Rose scrapbook tour or flip through. Ooh, as you can see this is a pretty dusty volume in shocking pink. Um, I couldn't get the old one, the old style, so I bought this one. This one's actually falling apart, it's the only one that I've had a problem with, um, with the binding, but still. Anyway, so here we have a lovely portrait of Marilyn in Clash by Night. As you can see the pages are a bit... It's just come away. I could, should really get some glue and re-glue it in. So, let's begin. Mail on Sunday, February the 20th, 2000, the day I went skinny dipping with Marilyn. This is again about the book My Week with Marilyn by Colin Clark. Where he alleges they went swimming in the Thames at Eton. Daily Mail, Friday, March 3rd, 2000, a week with a goddess. Again, this is more about My Week with Marilyn by Colin Clark. There was a lot of publicity with that book. Daily Telegraph, Friday the, uh, I can't see that, I think it's the 10th of March 2000, aren't we going to make love, Colin? Again, about the Colin Clark book. There's a lot about it. There'll be more about it later as well. And that continues over the page. The next article um, is Sunday Times so from March 19th, 2000, film posters beat out for value. And this is about values of various uh, film posters that went up for sale at Christie's, including one of the bus stop poster. Let's have a look, see if we can find it. Um, can't. Anyway, yeah, I mean, I've seen some of the, the posters, some posters of Marilyn herself are quite a lot. As you see, there's a lot of space. I need to go through these and put um, other pictures in. Oh, we've got a, a sideways article. This is always fun. Let's put it like that. So this is from the Sunday Times Culture magazine, March the 26th, 2000. Marilyn, as she might have been. This is about the book Blonde by Joyce Carol Oates, another book I absolutely hate. I never finished it. I do have it. Can't stand it. Sorry, that's just my thing. Uh, this is the Times, Times 2 Books, Thursday, March something, 2000, I can't read it from over here, um, in Marilyn's Hell. Again, this is about the fictional, and I want to emphasise the word fictional, treatment of her life by Joyce Carol Oates, which was dreadful. Sorry, but it was. Uh, internet article from the New York Times, book section, Blonde, Darkening the Dream Girl's Nightmare, again about the Joyce Carol Oates trash. I know she's well respected. I don't know why. After reading it, it's bloody awful. Um, very fictionalised account, but if you don't know Marilyn's story, you might take it for real. But it's not. Please, believe me. It's a load of junk. Um, I, I probably wouldn't use it to light my fire. Next page is from Architectural Digest, March, April 2000, selling Marilyn Monroe. And this again is a throwback to the auction uh, that took place in October of 1999 in New York. Um, I was there, and that's all I'm going to say. And again, I mean, it's still, I mean, we're in 2000 now, and they're still harping on about this flipping auction. <laughs> that's what I mean about how hyped up it was. And as you can see, lots of different pictures of her various items that were up for sale. There. Next page is J. Stewart Johnson Jr. This is just an art, an art advert for Forever Marilyn, his sculpture. Tiny little article here. Sunday People, April 2nd, 2000. Stars, Dress, Sparks, Row. Now, this is again about the sparkly dress uh, controversy of the dress that Marilyn wore when she sang um, uh, in Korea. So this was about a dress that came up for sale in April 2000. Um, so the bees were selling it. Um, this one is a royal blue crepe evening dress being billed as the one she wore while entertaining the troops in 1954 in Korea. However, Christie's say they, Christie's sort of sold black and plum versions of this dress. Um, it, it, the black one was last year. And uh, the plum dress is the one that you see most often photographed in Korea. If you look at any of the colour photographs of Marilyn in Korea, um, the dress she's wearing is plum coloured and she had a matching bolero to go with it. 
and like I said, that's owned by an Australian collector. So Marilyn did own multiple copies of dresses that she liked. So it, it's, it is very likely it was one of her dresses. Whether she wore it in Korea or not, we don't know. Um, this is from Excite News, April 2000, books and authors Joyce Carol Oates. So again, about the fiasco that was blonde. And it's quite a lot, lot of article, long article. I don't know why I gave it house room, but there you go. Next, again, is about the Joyce Carol Oates book and uh, Daily News, Marilyn Mania. Con a controversial new book tries to find secret of Monroe's magic. It's fiction, people. And again, this was from the Online Inquirer, What to Make Marion. Again, it's about the fictional, I reiterated again, fictional book of Joyce Carol Oates wrote. I say wrote, I'd say scribbled. Anyway, The Sun, Monday, April the 27th, I think it is, it might be the 17th, it's hard to tell my writing, 17th, 2000, Marion's breast kept secret, she wore full seats. And this is just because um, around this time, two forces that she would wear just to, you know, support herself and, and to give herself a bit of a perk came up for auction from Alan Abbott, who was one of the embalmers and pool bearers or whatever at Westwood. And he, they were thrown in the bin by the person making her up and, and he pulled them out and kept them, which he shouldn't have. I'm sure that was not right. And the sun carries on then with uh, Wednesday the 19th to say Marion was just like us after all. Well, she was a human being, so of course she was. A Woman's Journal, May 2000s, Cabbages and Queens, and it's just a picture of Bert Stern's image of her holding two things in front of her boobs. <sighs> Another eye roll, National Enquirer, Tony Curtis, Marilyn and I were hot for each other because he didn't have a book to sell or anything coming up. No, not at all. Legends of the Millennium, which is a cartoon or a sketch from the Sunday People magazine from the, uh, May 28th. So obviously, it's all about June 1st, so Marilyn's birthday. And the next page is an article that's not too bad actually. It's from Saturday Night Online, Marilyn in the Rockies by Derek Finkel. And this is about when she made uh, River of No Return in um, Canada. So, yeah. In Jasper. Um, so, a nice little story about the, some of the people who were around the area at that point, uh, who were kids or people that worked on, on the film itself. A nice long article, as you can see, with some lovely photographs of her. A very long article, that one, actually. It's nice to actually have a positive article about something she actually did, which was the, the, the film. Next page is uh, Sunday Mirror, June 4th, 2000, I Want to Be Marilyn. This is about model Rachel Hunter who said she, who transformed herself into Marilyn Monroe, allegedly, uh, for an episode, celebrity episode of uh, a programme called Stars in Their Eyes. Next page is from the Birmingham Post, Thursday, June 8th, 2000, Monroe the Mystery uh, Continues. New television, it's about a new television documentary, The Final Day, which is about her death um, and the circumstances surrounding it. So nice big article, some lovely pictures of her. Radio Times, 10th to the 16th of June 2000, gentlemen prefer dot blondes. So this is all about internet websites that were around in the year 2000. So we've got... Um, various places that sell stuff, cover-ups, FPI files, marimro.com which is the official site, Michelle Morgan's old website from when she ran at the Marilyn fan club is mentioned there among others, uh, the German version, German uh, page, uh, marimro.de uh, and so on. Uh, Back in the day when the internet was about actually looking up stuff instead of adverts. Which is all it seems to be these days when you type something in, all you get is a load of adverts. You don't actually get any websites, so you have to go searching for them. It's a shame. So the next page is TV Times. Again, 10th to the 16th. Um, Secrets of the Goodbye Girl. 
Again, this was about the documentary, The Final Day, not to be confused with The Final Days, which is a completely different documentary and much better. And that, like I said, that focuses on her, her death. So this is going to be a shorter video, but just because we have to get through all that Joyce Carol Oates rubbish. So the next page is what's on TV, 10 to 16 June 2000. We have a lot of TV guides in this country. Considering we only have four terrestrial channels, the rest of them are like, well, we did um, have them. Uh, you know, we had a lot of these magazines. So this one again is about the final days called Marin and the Truth. Again, it's a brief overview of the programme which focuses on the night of the death and what happened afterwards, the immediate aftermath and so on. Another one on that subject is from the TV Choice magazine. The same day, it's 10th to the 16th of June 2000. What happened that day? A new TV series pieces together the final hours of some of Hollywood's greatest legends. So yeah, it's all about the con different conspiracy theories. They do experiments on whether or not she could have swallowed them and, and so on. Um, yeah, take it with a pinch of salt, like everything. We will never know what happened that night. And I think it's pointless speculating over what happened that night. Um, to me, that's not why I'm a Marilyn fan. I'm not a fan because she died or what happened that night. It's tragic, it's sad, and I hate that it happened to her. But I'm a fan of this beautiful woman who came from nowhere and become, became the most beautiful, biggest star of her time. Sadly died early and because of that early death is still remembered and loved now and oh, I love her so much. I'm actually gonna watch Jump for Blondes possibly this afternoon or maybe even Some Like It Hot because Paul likes Some Like It Hot so he probably won't mind if I watch that one. If I was watching Jump for Blondes he might moan. And the, I said it'd be a very short video this one because we're only just on 12 minutes. Um, usually these are around 20 but I might rattle on about Marilyn for a bit, you never know. Again, TV and satellite now, 10th to 16th of June 2000, Goodbye Norma Jean. Again, it's another overview of um, the documentary The Final Day, which reconstructed the last 24 hours of her life and um, whether or not it could have been murder, suicide or an accident. Again, there's a lovely photograph of her. This one is the one we see the most of her in this gold lame dress. And a picture of them moving her body from the morgue to mortuary, something like that anyway. And the last one is the TV mag from The Sun. So this was The Sun's um, newspaper's own magazine. Same dates, so for the same week. Death of a Legend, a new documentary examines the ongoing mystery of Marilyn Monroe's untimely passing. So on here we've got a lovely photograph of her from Something's Got to Give, her final uncompleted film, which I think it's very sad that she never completed. And a little picture here of um, one of the newspapers at the time. If we just zoom in, and it's got a picture of her, I'm just moving the book, um, taken in Mexico of that year, in 1962, Marilyn dead. It's very sad. So, that is book 10. We still have possibly another 10 to 15. I'm not even sure how many books there are in the collection. I will have a look and let you know on the next one video when they are because when I take this out and bring the next ones down to film I will have a look and I'll let you know how many we actually have um so I hope you've enjoyed this flip through I know there was a lot of internet articles they, they will soon stop there won't be many more of those I don't think um I know a lot of it was about um Joyce Carol Oates's book Blonde which I really hate uh with a passion um, so we did go over those bits quite quickly, but they, you know, we'll get back onto some, hopefully some good stuff pretty soon. And I will keep scrapbooking. I will probably work some more on the one I'm currently on. So I'm nearly at the end of 2009, like we're on 2010. And I will be ordering another photo album soon so I can continue scrapbooking my collection for you. So you can see it. I might, if you're interested, do a video showing you how I scrapbook my Marilyn articles. If, you, if you'd like to see that, do leave a, a comment down below. If you'd like to see that, let me know. Um, leave me a comment anyway if you've enjoyed this. And don't forget to share with your, uh, your uh, friends and your Marilyn friends specifically, obviously, because it's all about Marilyn. And subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. I do appreciate all those subscriptions that I get. They make my day. And I will see you all soon with Book 11. Yay! Happy days, Marilynette.
बाय